After rough winter weather continues to plague most of the upper Midwest, we've been quite shorthanded with our outdoor spring sports this season. So the North Dakota Fighting Hawks have yet to play any games in Grand Forks, but they played today the South Dakota State Jackrabbits and a Sunday doubleheader in Fargo. SDSU trying to extend their perfect 9-0 Summit League record, UND 4-1 in their last five. Top of the first year, Lindsey Culver hit to left. Throw from third, not quite in time. South Dakota State on the board in the opening frame. We go to the second inning now. This hit past second by Mia Jarecki sends Alexa Williams in. Jacks doubling their lead pretty quickly here. We have a couple scoreless next couple of innings. We go to the fifth though. Williams ran in the last run and she wants a few more. This rocket flying out and way over the right field fence. It's a three run Jack Rabbit homer and yeah, this one's quickly scampering out of hand. South Dakota State ends up taking game one eight zero after six innings, winning their fourth straight game and 10 and 0 in conference play. And well, they decide to make it 11 and 0. UND shut out for the first time since April 8th in that game one, where they actually also lost eight to nothing. Funny enough, game two, same result, albeit one run on the board for the Fighting Hawks. UND falls to eight and 35 on the year, add a five and eight Summit League record of that though. But fortunately for North Dakota, both of their last two series are in state and they're going to play right at their own park against North Dakota State next weekend. Now, unlike the Fighting Hawks, the Bison had all smooth sailing in their doubleheader against St. Paul in St. or sorry, against St. Thomas in St. Paul. Bunch of Saints going on. The Tommies in DSU for the first time all season earning back to back sweeps. And in game one, Paige Vargas recording her 500th career strikeout. How about her? This successful weekend coming off getting swept in a three game series, though, against those same South Dakota State Jackrabbits, as we mentioned. And as we also mentioned before, the Bison will host the Fighting Hawks next weekend in Fargo. Those rivals split a two game series last season, but NDSU holds the all time series 10 games to five. Their last meeting was in the Summit League first round. That was a five to two NDSU victory. Bison baseball team battled through 13 innings today and they fall eight to four. They give up a three run homer in the top of the 13th plus one more, I guess, for extra insurance there for the Golden Eagles. NDSU led three to nothing after the first two innings, then were tied in the third and then came back and led again in the bottom of the sixth. Oral Roberts again tied the game in the top of the eighth and NDSU just couldn't quite get back in front. North Dakota State next goes for a one game series against the Minnesota Golden Gophers that game in Minneapolis this next Tuesday. Minnesota Twins up against the Washington Nationals in game three of their very, very chilly home series. Top of the first two men on Kiebert Ruiz drops a hit down to the left field line that brings home one run. And yet again, the Nats lead the Twins trying to get a sweep today. Jorge Polanco at the plate. He drills this pitch into the left field corner. That home run ties the game up at one all same half inning. Don't go anywhere. Michael Taylor bringing the home run party going. There's the leading run right there. Minnesota back in control. Go to the bottom of the fifth. Now after that big dinger, we have men at the corners here and Polanco once again, he's just hungry for more hits. It's three to one twins after this RBI twins. Keep the score the same the whole way they get back in the W column and they avoid the sweep, thankfully, and taking game three, three to one. Minnesota Wild up against the Dallas Stars in game four in St. Paul tonight. The Wild seeking their first ever three to one lead in a playoff series and the first series win since 2015, but no goals in the first period. But Tyler Sagan manages to squeak this one past the defense and under the netminder. Check this one out. One nothing Dallas and now we go to the third period. Dallas again on the attack and well there goes another Emgeny Dodonov with the goal and the Stars lead by two. But only two minutes later Wild trying to get back on the scoreboard deflected pass to John Klingberg and he rockets in the goal crowd in a frenzy. Minnesota right back in this one. Three and a half to go now. Sagan again gets a good look and well for the second time today the Canadian center scores off the power play. Minnesota does end up scoring under a minute to go and here's the last chance for the wild to tie the game. Seven seconds left and they can't quite get it done. They fall three to two and head back to Dallas for game five on Tuesday. Minnesota Timberwolves hanging on to their season by the tips of their claws. They're down 
three to nothing in the opening round series against the Denver Nuggets. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to update the scoreboard quite correctly. It's actually 80 to 74 now. This was taken right at the end of the third quarter. It's actually now uh, going into the fourth, 80 to 76. Denver just scoring again. So a pretty tight one. Minnesota desperately trying to win this game. They're trying to come back down 3 nothing, a feat that no one's ever accomplished in a seven game series in the NBA playoffs. Only 13 teams have ever done it just three to one. If the Wolves were to pull off this miracle in the series, it would be their first season winning a playoff series in general since their 2004 Western Conference Finals run. We can only hope they pull it out. So you're saying there's a chance. They're saying there's a chance. There's I'm also chance. tired just hearing that the Bison played 13 innings. That's a lot of baseball. Just here, that's a lot of that's baseball. That's a lot of, no pitch clock there. No, <laughs> thank goodness. Well, still to come tonight.